Hello everybody, Gray Still Plays, and today we're going to be doing a review for the brand new early access first person shooter, Bunker Punks. No time for BS, let's get right into it. One look at Bunker Punks will have first person shooter gamers of old immediately drawn into a nostalgic fantasy world, where Wolfenstein 3D is still the top seller and gameplay is more about the immediate action than item or inventory management. There are plenty of ways to make a game unique by making it more complex, but it's when you boil a gaming genre down to its roots, add a few bits and pieces, and make those pieces work and function incredibly well that you know that you've got the building blocks for an excellent game. Bunker Punks is such a game, and even in its early access, it proves that you can give the people something solid and still leave plenty of room for additions and improvement. In this review, we'll be looking at Bunker Punks in three categories, gameplay, sound, and look. Our typical polish category is removed, due to the game being in early access. Each category will take into consideration that the game just came out and is still in early access. Gameplay The gameplay of Bunker Punks is one of its shining jewels within the entire game itself. When you step back, you can see that Bunker Punks is a first person shooter. But the closer you get, and the more you play, you realize that there is more than just going from room to room killing everything. Weapons act differently depending on what type is used. The shotgun, for instance, peppers opponents with a hail of pellets and does amazing in-your-face damage. The further away you go, not only does the damage lessen, but the number of pellets that meet their mark is also reduced. The assault rifle is the opposite, doing the most damage when you step away from your target and fire from afar. Different enemies are introduced slowly, each of them having a different method of attack and movement. Most importantly, the game adds much-needed replay value to any first-person shooter by offering upgrades to your bunker, additional punks available for purchase, and various articles of clothing that can be worn to gain different bonuses to armor or damage. Most folks may find the game itself repetitive, and there's no doubt that it is, but the mark of a good game is giving enough variation to the repetition to continuously make it fun. Also lacking is any involved story. So if a lengthy reading and involved character backgrounds are your cup of tea, you might find yourself wanting. Overall, there's two things that you don't mess with. Texas and Bunker Punks. The gameplay gets a 9 out of 10. Sound. Bunker Punks sports a fun and sassy soundtrack that transfers from a slower ambient lull during the board choice and upgrading scenes to the hard rock, blood pumping riffs that happen when it's time to fight. The question is, will you find it varied enough for all the bullet slinging you'll be doing. The sound effects are simple and yet appropriate, and the voice acting above all is incredibly clean and professional. The various punks spit out one-liners and various other comments when gaining weapons and equipment, and it's extremely welcome to hear that they don't sound like an amateur talking into a $3 microphone housed in an empty coffee can that's sitting in a five gallon bucket of water while leaving all of their windows open so that the sweet sounds of the industrial workers putting up low income housing can be heard in the background. Sound gets an eight out of 10. Look, the look of Bunker Punks is something you either love or hate. The pixelated goodness is a staunch reminder of 90 style shoot 'em ups and with all the blocky simplistic textures it entails. You might not always know what the hell you're shooting at or if what you're about to pick up is a helmet or a catcher's mitt and the room that you're in may have a great deal of reused images, but there's a lot that even individuals who like a more modern look to their games can't deny. The user interface is clean and minimalistic, giving us all the much needed information while leaving a very minor impact on the immersion of the game. Everything moves very smoothly on the screen, from the hovering transitions of the play screen to the swapping of gear and weapons. Overall, you get very little in the way of complex shadows, lighting, effects, or textures, but what you do get is perfect for the style of the game, and is quite professional. Look gets a 7 out of 10. Bunker Punk strives to be the best at simple, fun, and satisfying gaming, showing that you can do it even if you only have a few minutes to play, and it accomplishes this mission extremely well. I'll always be interested to see what new punk or upgrade there is to achieve, and the difficulty level of the game will keep most gamers occupied for enough time to easily get the early access asking price of $14.99's worth of fun. Overall, Bunker Punks gets an incredibly solid 8 out of 10. 
that's it for this review guys hope you found it helpful if there's anything that you'd like to see me add or any additional comments or opinions that you have on the game feel free to leave them below as always stay foxy and much love